The bloodiest was in the Victorian capital, where tensions between two rival gangs exploded during a popular community festival, and innocent members of the public were caught in the middle. But as Matt Gallant reports, the bitter feud is far from over, with both sides threatening there is more violence to come. It's the moment violence erupted in the heart of Melbourne as two rival gangs clashed. <laughs> Streets filled with chaos. My wife, uh, she was just, she was just distraught. And I said, just stay behind here. And you know, you can't really run anywhere. There's too many of them. No one was safe. Diners were caught in the crossfire. One innocent bystander was hit in the head with a metal chair. The screaming, well, that was the most... That was really terrifying. As the fight continued, people were forced to seek refuge inside bars and restaurants. This is insane. Police arrived to reclaim the streets, but it was too late and they were outnumbered. The sort of behaviour last night, as I said, will not be tolerated and will be cracking down hard on this particular group. Russell Mullery captured the carnage on his mobile phone. I was scared, thinking, what's going to happen? Does anyone have any weapons? Is anyone going to get seriously hurt? Police arrested four men. One was allegedly armed with a taser, but countless escaped. One man was taken to hospital with serious head injuries. During the brawl, which lasted around 20 minutes, a young man with a megaphone was inciting more violence, saying things like, we warned you, and this isn't over. You can clearly tell that it was a very well planned event. That fear they promote, that's what would put chills in anybody's up their spine. Restaurants were forced to shut their doors for hours as police locked down the area. I was very, very scared. Even police came. Police advised us if you can shut the door because there are some people, they are fighting and they are going shop inside and they are robbing. The fight was promoted on social media as part of an ongoing feud between rival gangs called Apex and Islander 23. If that's the, if that, if that's the future, God help us, I tell you. I tell you, that's very scary. I've never seen anything like it in my life. And our reporter Matt Gland joins us now from Melbourne. Matt, will police roll out extra officers there tonight? Natasha, more than 100 extra police officers will be deployed here to Melbourne following further threats of violence. The gang Apex has taken to social media, issuing a call to arms for tonight. But that's of particular concern with tens of thousands of people expected to flock here again to the city for the Moomba Festival. As you can see behind me, it's well underway. Police have created a special task force that has been investigating this gang for several months, but officers have assured the public is safe and families should come to the city to enjoy the entertainment. Matt, thank you. Meantime, in New South Wales, police also faced a very violent night in Sydney's CBD. They were forced to break up a series of brawls between dozens of men and women spanning an entire city block. The violence escalated as a mob egged them on. Elisa Throden reports. Police call this a normal Saturday night. It's just past three in the morning, and despite Sydney's lockout laws to prevent this kind of violence, it's on. Just as one fight is contained, another is breaking out around the corner. Officers from three city stations try to calm the crowd as men and women brawl for up to an hour. 30 people were involved, with dozens more egging them on. Chaos. My concern is, uh, is doing away with whiteness. There can be no white race. And the task is to bring this minority together in such a way that it makes it impossible for the legacy of whiteness to continue to reproduce itself. Not only are Muslim communities, but African communities, Asian communities, Hispanic communities, and, and the wave still continues. It's not going to stop, nor should we want it to stop. In time, Europe must be multicultural. Africa for the Africans, Asia for the Asians but white countries for everybody. This is a matter of straight genocide. Anti-racist is just a code word for anti-white. Anti-racist is a code word for anti-white. Anti-racist is a code word for anti-white. Anti anti the multicultural system 
a system devoted to your genocide, and it is devoted to your genocide, it's devoted to white genocide, it is being destroyed with the sound, with the vibration, with its old contradictions. Anti-racist is a code word for anti-white. The terminology and the consistent message through Europe.